It's Megan, and since the Assassin's Creed movie trailer just came out a couple days ago, I thought I would come at you with another prop slash collectible slash toy review that is Assassin's Creed themed. The movie looks really good. I'm excited to see it. It looks pretty lit. Not a big fan of the music choice for the trailer, like everyone else on the internet. Michael Fassbender is a good actor, so I look forward to it. Okay, so let's get into the review. We're going to start with... Connor's tomahawk. Now, before everyone dislikes the video because I have Connor's tomahawk, Connor is my favorite assassin, okay? I have no justification for the game itself because I like Connor. I think he is the most true to the assassin's creed. I like him. He's so such a cute little assassin. <laughs> I'll link down below where you can get it. I got it for like $30, which is like really cheap considering it's made of real metal. Like this is stainless steel, except it's stained. Look at that. It's not actually stainless, but it's like cloudy. Like, um, it's kind of sharp, but I read the reviews on Amazon and they said if you like wanted to like chop wood with it, apparently it doesn't work. But I don't know why you would want to chop wood with this. Let's just, let's, let's look at this baby from top to bottom, from Tama, Tama top. <laughs> Let's start from the, from the top. Okay. So the blade itself, beautiful, beautiful. It looks like the symbol of the assassins, kind of. This is the symbol, that's is the it? point. Is yeah. it? Oh my God. So it is the symbol of the assassins and it is made of metal. And this part is kind of sharp, so if you were to like hit someone with it, um, they would probably die. It's attached onto this beautiful wooden stick that I believe is made out of a real wood. And it has this kind of like wrapping around it to create a nice aesthetic. Like, And then we have this, which is just, it's so fake. Like, let's not even... It's like this foam suede thing that's supposed to resemble the leather wrapping and it it doesn't so then moving on and by the way everything is the same on the other side except for the little x made out of twine stuff but this side looks better so i'm going to show you this side has a carving of the three diamonds here and they're painted in white and it is a very clean paint job i might add i could not have done that and then we have these feathers, like Connor's tomahawk, and they're, I don't know if they're real. They're probably not, since this was $30. And then we go to the bottom. The handle has a nice foam suede with four little buttons attaching it to the wooden stick. I think this looks like Connor's tomahawk, and I'm happy I own it because, like I said, I love Connor. That is Connor's tomahawk, my, my beautiful Connor's tomahawk. So the next thing I'm going to show you is from my other favorite Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Unity. I just have a weird, sick fascination with the French Revolution, okay? And I played it after it was already patched. I bought the Phantom Blade. I'm just going to show it off now because, well, because it's the only other Assassin's Creed thing I own that is not related to Assassin's Creed 3. So like with all hidden blades, it has a cuff. And the cuff is really not very good. It doesn't fit me. And um, I don't know if I have like an abnormally small arm. Or if like I'm just really bad at putting on. Or if it's just poorly made. You can see it has leather texture. And these straps that velcro for no reason. It has a crossbow. Here is the crossbow. And it has little carvings all over it. It's very aesthetically pleasing. And it has like these nice little metal accents even though you know this entire thing is plastic and i'm gonna show you how to shoot it because number one is incredibly impossible to put this thing in a little dart it also comes with the of course hidden blade oh my god i accidentally just shot the arrow <laughs> it has a hidden blade and it's a phantom blade but if you collect hidden blades from assassin's creed i would definitely recommend them they start at $60, but then like within, you know, like a week or so, like with every Assassin's Creed, people get tired of them. 
and then they go down to like 20 bucks. I will tell you they're all very good quality. They're all like this kind of quality. So if this is the kind of quality you're looking for, then you're gonna want these. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. It will hopefully be Dark Souls 3 again. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! <laughs> I want to. Ow. <laughs> it was